All right. Let's uh, let's move on to another segment here. Speaking to Dexter Tarbox, who has a brand new article at the New England Take dot com. Please be sure to go check that out. I got to get an email system up there too to get people to start sending me their emails so we can send everything to your inbox too. So keep an eye out for that. That's my next project for. He should this, uh, yeah take some submissions. Yeah, this ever expanding website project that never ends because it's just AJ <laughs> trying to put it together. But at least I got at least I got a couple of people submitting articles occasionally, which is nice. But uh, so <laughs> having another conservative. Uh, writing for the site is super interesting. Like I'm, I'm a center right guy with libertarian leanings, is the way I always put it. I, uh, personal, personally religious to a certain extent with the so which does play into my personal ethics, but it doesn't necessarily carry over to my p- politics as much as humanly possible. It's the reason why I'm uh. able to to kind of disassociate i guess is a way of phrasing it between what what i what i put out there politically and, and for the show versus what i what i do in my own life but i'm straightforward in that balance that i have but uh, for you dexter uh, as more of a conservative conservative it, like what what is like your some big things that matter to you politically and what leads you to have the opinions you have on those well, you know, that's a good question. I'll say I, I have, um, as I believe you do as well, um, some libertarian leanings. Um, and I'm also influenced by my religion. But I think um, I, I take a more active position. And I think that is one of the things that disqualifies me um, from membership in, uh, in the Libertarian Party, um, particularly as it relates to, um, to social issues. Um, uh, as well as some economic ones as well that, that again, I think are, are sort of disqualifying me from, from the Libertarian Party as many as much as I may have sympathies with them. Uh, so, for instance, I, I think you may have even saw I, I did a debate uh, about a year ago um, with the Libertari- uh, some members of the Libertarian Party. Um, um, considering the topic of assisted suicide. Um, and I wrote a piece that, that covered um, my, what I took out of that debate. Uh, and, and it underlined for me a lot of what I think the difference that I had there is when I when I bring morality, perhaps religious morality, even into my politics. Um, it, in that, for me, society does have some broader interests that supersede the interests of the individual person and the individual pursuit of liberty, if you'd like to call it that. Um, in this case uh, that I'm talking about, it was a debate over assisted suicide and whether or not society had uh, had an interest in, in preventing gross moral evils from taking place. Um, and, and it was a contentious debate. Of course, I lost um, given the forum that I was in. Um, um, but but hopefully maybe in the minds of, of uh, thinking people who analyze it, I may have won. Uh, and that extends um, of course, naturally to to social issues, which are often not favored by people on more of the, the libertarian side of the spectrum, um, such as abortion. Uh, you know, I, that's another instance where I see a fundamental moral evil taking place. Again, yes, informed by religion, um, but not strictly so. Uh, I think that there is a more, um, uh, the, the, there is a, an understanding beneath the level of religion um, that, that just goes to the value of human life that can be used to express a case against legalized abortion. Um, and that's one where I run into trouble with people um, in New Hampshire in particular. Um, I would say as well, um, looking more towards the economic side of things, um, and this might be an area where we, we differ, I'm not quite sure. Um, I also find that there is a role for things like antitrust uh, legislation. Um, particularly since so many of the modern monopolies that we face now are involved in the space of communications and in information, um, information in general, those kinds of controls, I would say, aren't often looked upon favorably by those who prefer a more uh, laissez-faire system. Um, but I find an important role for them. And again, the, the philosophy there for me goes back to the idea that society does have certain superseding interests which go beyond the individual person, and that when they are extremely important, um, as in the case of life or death, or as in the case of, of you know, protecting the economic order, uh, I, I do see a role for the government to step in, um, and it doesn't have to be liberty-minded necessarily in that case. Yeah, it, great, great examples, great examples for sure. I mean, I mean, personally, like 
ultimately we probably agree a, a majority, at least personally, on on, on those subjects entirely. Personally, I, I think abortion is abhorrent unless it's for a medical reason to save the life of the mother or there's like something super like ridiculously catastrophic with with the fetus. But when it comes to politically, this is where I talk about the difference between me personally versus politically and where the reason why I lean um, more on the libertarian side of the house. I'm not calling myself libertarian. I'm not starting that damn identity <laughs> crisis. Sure, either. Sure, we yeah. throw that out there, too. I'm an independent. Um, but it, the I, I think New Hampshire is the best example of what you can get for an abortion law. And I'm sure we very much disagree on necessarily how the law as it currently stands. I would definitely agree with you that it's probably the best that we have. Yeah, New H I think New Hampshire is a great example, frankly, for a lot of laws. Um, and you know, and that's the thing for me. I I really do wish, especially when I think about electoral politics, I do wish that I could divorce my my personal views from my my political views further, because as we learned in the last midterm, frankly, that would have been a great help. Um, because the abortion issue, uh, abortion, excuse me, issue was a huge wedge um and how great it could have been to to have not been concerned with it when attempting to to entice voters um you know the divisions that that became very clear would have been much smaller uh, had that issue not taken front and center uh however for me it's something i absolutely just can't do you know when you consider it a homicide um there's very little room um, for for uh, uh, qualifications. Uh, and so again, as much as I wish that it didn't have to be an issue, um, I would frankly take the electoral loss in the last midterm uh, if it meant that we got the Supreme Court decision that we did. Um, because ultimately saving those lives to me from what I consider to be a homicide is worth more than a, a, a transient electoral loss you're proving uh, my long-term theory of myself versus more conservatives is that i'm an apathetic douchebag okay good <laughs> that, that's, been, that's been my theory i'm a nice guy but when it comes to politics i get quite apathetic and i and, and i wouldn't say cynical but i don't necessarily trust trust the necessarily the the collections of people which i'm sure you you agree with also on that, well, but it's, it's, that yeah that's the other thing it's like you know there are other people who have expressed this view i only know for myself that it's honest i don't know how honest it is maybe for the other people who who, who traffic in that position um yeah so i i approach it with a good deal of skepticism too whenever anyone's um putting forth their moral positions um um as their as their policy positions um I, I only know my own all right so we gotta go to a break right here into this segment it's the new england take i'm your host aj kirsa been talking to dexter tarbox a new contributor over at the new england take.com follow us on social media like and subscribe if you are on youtube it greatly helps get word out there to check us out